Hi children, I'm Teacher Hui Lin from Blue Tree Education. I'm watering my plants. These days are so warm and I believe that my plants need to take in more water. You know that plants need water to survive, right? And without it water, it will wilt and die. Hmm, but do you know how plants take in water? Let's do an experiment. So here we have the celery stalk and another celery stalk that has the leaves. We will do an experiment with these two celery stalks and let's look at the water carrying tubes. Are they visible? They are not very visible at the moment. So let's do this experiment with the blue colored water that we have prepared here so that we can make the water carrying tubes more visible. So let's just put the celery stalks into the blue colored solutions. So you can actually add blue water color or you can just add blue food coloring to water and put it overnight or at least a few hours until you see that the leaves has turned color. Now we have our setup that has been put overnight. So let's check at the celery stalk. So we can see that the celery stalk has some blue colored parts over here which made the water carrying tubes more visible. So now we can do the dissection. So we can do a cross section first. So remember when you are using a sharp pen knife to do it, please make sure that you are under adult supervision. Now we can see, take a look. So this one is the water carrying tubes. So to make it more visible, you can also take at the flip side of the celery stem. As you can see, the water carrying tubes are stained blue, or in this case, it's dark purple. So they are much more visible. So how is it that the water carrying tubes are stained? It's because of the water carrying tubes that transported the blue colored water up to the celery stalk. So as you can see, the top of the celery stalk is also slightly blue. So this is how we know that there are tubes that can carry water throughout the plant. So now we know that plants have water carrying tubes to transport water. Hey, I've just got a good idea. Wanna listen? Let's have a surprise for Daddy and Mommy to show our appreciation for them. Let's do a bouquet which is made up of the plant transport model and also the vegetable print card for them. Sounds good? Let's do it! Alright, so how do we do the plant transport model? So these are all the materials that you will need. You will need a piece of used toilet paper roll and also scissors and the glue for pasting and maybe some newspaper and some magazines. Now, what I will do first is for the nice magazines, I'll keep it aside and then for the rest, I will just need to cut them up into a smaller A5 piece so maybe I can just tear it. Once you have cut the pieces of paper into A5 size paper like that, we are going to make a tube that is rolled out from a smaller piece of paper. Okay, so what we do is we will fold the A5 size paper into half. Okay, and you will cut it. You can either cut it with a scissors or you can slice it with a piece of ruler. Now we can use a pen-like structure over here that is cylindrical. Now you can roll it up like a sushi. And we will add some glue to seal off the tube. So just roll it and maybe just press hard for a few times. So now you find that maybe it's 
hardening ready. Now you can take off the tube. And there you have it. Okay, so this is the tube that you have found. Okay, so now you will do four of these. So this is what you will have now, a tube, okay, and you put it into the toilet roll. And then what is next, we will use a newspaper. So this newspaper, we will fold it into half. Then we will roll it into a tube and we will put it in will be the stem so the stem will have water carrying tubes and food carrying tubes inside so now we will put in the, the branches so you can cut up the paper into pieces again so with this you can make the branches by twisting And then you insert it into the newspaper. Do it for the rest. After you have added in the branches, now you can make some flowers. So I'm going to use the aluminium foil over here to make them into flowers. So we can cut up the pieces first. So now you can use all these pieces to wrap around the branches. So here you have it, your very own plant transport model that you have handmade yourself. And you can just paste a nice wrapper around it or you can simply decorate the toilet roll and this will be your lovely gift to your mommy and daddy so let's continue on now with the vegetable print card now we will be doing the vegetable print card so here are the following materials that we will need so we will need brushes the palettes with paint and some water in it and also the vegetables and inside the vegetable we have the capsicum we have leek and we also have the stalk of xiao bai cai then we also have carrot so now we will test out the shapes and the colors of the vegetables so maybe for the Xiao Bai Cai, I will feel that it looks like the rose. So let me just dip some water and apply some paint on it. Okay, so I'll try this color first. Press it hard and let it sit for a while. Alright, so this one is the first rose that I have. Alright, so there you have the two flowers. You might want to use other shapes. So let's try this. Okay, looks good. Let's try the rest of the different vegetables so 
also press it down hard. Mm. Let's give it some stock. So now we can use some of the yellow to give it more color. So this is almost done. Let's do our final vegetable print using the heart shape. is the final result after you have written in I and you so it says I love you so you can write in your personal message to your daddy and mommy and your vegetable print card is ready I hope you have enjoyed making the plant transport model and the vegetable print card so let's give our lovely gifts to our parents to show our appreciation and warm their hearts I'll see you next time!